I've run nearly every Google ad account under the sun. Everything from spending $50,000 per day to just a hundred bucks per day. In this video, I'm gonna show you the most fundamental exercise that you need to do every single day for all of your Google campaigns. What I'm gonna focus on is exactly how to optimize your ads when you're never seeing things get better. So this is a brand new ad account. We started running ads in this account just about 15 days ago. And you could see the cost is so, so low. Now, this is a very unique case. This is a very high ticket ad account and the goal is to scale this tremendously but when we're just starting these out it's so important that we're bidding on the right terms that we're actually optimizing things from the get-go so that we're not wasting hundreds and hundreds of dollars so the first thing we need to understand is that when we are running a non-branded search campaign or really any search campaign for that matter there's two things we need to look at once we drill down into the ad group we have our search keywords which are here and then we have our search terms so a keyword is what you're actually giving Google to go bid on for you. Now, keywords can come in three different match types. They can come broad, phrase, or exact. Let me show you how these are actually determined. So when you go to add keywords, if we were using running shoes as our keyword, broad, we would put nothing around it. It would just be the term running shoes. And this is the most common thing that people do. Next would be phrase match running shoes. So we would put quotes around or parentheses around running shoes. And last is exact match where we put brackets around running shoes. So when it comes to match types, the three different kinds do three three different jobs completely. And that's why it's really important to have a variety of these kinds of match types within your ad account. So broad match, which is becoming the most common, just is comprehensive matching. Now, what that means is that your ads, really wherever you're bidding on, can show to anything that relates to that keyword. So there's really big benefits of that. The biggest benefits are pretty clear that you're able to find keywords that you didn't think of or that are really long tails, such as really, really long searches. But the cons to a broad match search is that you might actually show up and spend money on searches that are completely unrelated to your product. For example, if running shoes was our actual search and we bid on something like how to run fast in my Nikes, that's somewhat related because we're looking for running shoes or are running shoes better than training shoes? There's different ways that you could push this out, but basically broad match can get a little bit expansive, which could hurt you sometimes. Phrase match actually uses the phrase, the exact combination of words that you've given it, and it is allowed to add to the back the front, and sometimes even in between. So it's considered to be moderate matching. So just the example that Google gives here, ads may show on searches that include the meaning of your keyword. So cheap furniture stores, living room furniture deals, what store is the best place to find a bedroom dresser? Notation for inputting keywords is the phrase match. For exact match, it is the exact or very, very close variant of the term that you have. All of these are through the example of keyword furniture store. Because we have furniture store, exact match is allowed to expand a little bit to home furnishing shop, which is extremely, extremely similar to furniture store, but it can't go as far as saying cheap. It can't go as far as saying living room. If the meaning is nearly exact, then it will be an exact match. So when you're setting up your actual search keywords, you want to generally use a combination of exact match and broad match. That's what we use most of the time. However, if you're a brand that is really a heavy search brand, you're less into shopping, you're more on search, especially in the high ticket game, phrase match does tremendously well too. For this example here, as you can see, I have my group of of keywords and we really just have three keywords because we're just starting out. We have three keywords that are really driving the majority of the spend. And what I'm doing every day is I go to yesterday's results and I click on my search terms. So search terms are the actual searches that resulted in spend on my ad account. Where keywords are what I'm bidding on, search terms are what we actually spent on. What I do every single day is I look at yesterday's results and I go through every single search term here and I simply exclude everything that is not relevant for my brand. So let me show you exactly how I do that. Here's an example of a keyword that makes absolutely no sense. Grab here, this is another one. That's definitely one. That's another one, another one. So we've locked down to five of 36 are irrelevant. So then we're gonna click add as a negative keyword. When I do this, I'm gonna add this to a negative keyword list and add to account wide negatives. The reason I do this is because it's going to apply to all the campaigns that are inside this account. So the next thing I do is I don't just take this as is and click the save button. What we actually wanna make sure is are there any variations of this when we're putting in these negatives that are gonna keep happening, right? So we wanna avoid these search terms, keep coming up, keep coming up, keep coming up. For example, so this keyword right here, we're just gonna pretend is running shoes. If it was running shoes, it would show up as an exact match. If I click the save button now, only the exact term running shoes, exactly how it's spelled, 
involved in that form would be excluded from my campaigns. However, if I change this to a phrase match, then anything with the word or the phrase running shoes within it is going to be excluded from my account. For example, if someone typed in black running shoes, red running shoes, orange running shoes, those will be excluded from my account because it sees phrase match running shoes. That's what we want to start to do. So what I will do on a daily basis here, once I have my keywords in here, I'm going to change a few of these to phrase match. This happens very, very often. The reason I change a few of these to phrase match is because if I see terms that I never want to bid on that don't make any sense for my brand, then I'm of course going to completely remove them. And in this case, there's actually three of these five that need to be phrase match negatives. And the other really don't need to be, I'm going to keep them as exact match. Then I'm going to click save. And then we'll see right here, five search terms were added to the list, which means they are now negatives. So why is this important? This looks like a really, really simple thing to do. If you go back to the very first day that we started to run in this account and you look through over the course of this period, what you'll notice is all the way down at the bottom, we've had 570 terms that we have bid on. You will see a lot of search terms talking about things that are completely irrelevant for your brand. You are spending money, even if it's five, 10 or 15% of that money, you're spending money on terms that don't matter. They're not important to you. So get rid of them, cut them out and do this on a daily basis. I hope you guys got a little bit of value out of this video. But I just wanted to share something that I do every single day that helps every ad account move forward. I hope this helped. Thanks everyone.